Hi, I'm Lara, and this is Trip Journey Trilogy. Today, I'll be reviewing Unlikely Friendships Dogs by Jennifer S. Holland. So first, I'll acknowledge the fact that it's technically in the week, so I didn't have a video for last week, but I'm ignoring that, and this video counts for this past week and I will have a different run up for this week. You didn't come to this channel for quality, did you? So second point is this isn't my usual book. And if you look at the title, it does not say analysis because I have no idea how to analyze this type of book. Also in the title it mentions story, so I'm gonna tell you the story behind this. So Jennifer S. Holland works for National Geographic as a dirt journalist and for one of my college courses, my teacher actually had her come in and speak to the class. So that was really interesting. So when she came to my class, she talked about three different conservation stories around the world that she was able to research. So the first one was pandas in China. The second is the yaki in Indonesia, which I think is like sort of a type of monkey. I'm not entirely sure. And the third is the Huxville turtles in the Solomon Islands. This has absolutely nothing to do with it, that this book is just a bunch of cute stories about dogs but it was a really interesting lecture about different animals so it's obvious she really loves animals and also afterwards i went down and talked to her and told her some of my animal stories and she signed my book see that see that uh, it's a, my first signed book and it's yes and um it says, to Laura and Joy, J.S. Holland, nice to talk cows with you. I have a lot of cow stories. As a wannabe booktuber, I decided I have to get one and get it signed because what type of booktuber would I be if I went to a place where someone was talking and they were selling a book and I didn't get it and review it. So, so there's 37 short stories all about different friendships with dogs. Nine of these stories are repeated from her earlier books in the Unlikely series, Unlikely Friendships, Unlikely Loves, and Unlikely Heroes. And all the stories I've repeated are labeled as repeated, but like seriously, I am not upset at all that I gotta read this story in this book. Like. Who would be upset for more stories in the book. These 37 stories are all true stories about dogs. They all have pictures and of the actual animals and they're all really interesting. Some of them are sad, some are straight up cute, some are heroic like this mastiff. He saved 17 horses from a burning barn and then there are some with like disabled animals and their best friend who's a chicken. Some are kind of sad and happy at the same time like the bionic dog poor baby but he look how happy he is so it's still a happy story I was just going to read one or two and then do a review but then I didn't stop reading and that is why this video is coming up late however despite the fact that this is non-fiction it's very cute and fun and like seriously look at these pictures they're adorable her writing style definitely reflects the fun nature of this it's very down-to-earth very fun easy read for example here's like a short excerpt we're talking a smushed face, sausage-shaped, snorting little pug. And then in parentheses, no offense to pugs, that's just how they are, and we love them for it. So it has cute little inserts from her own personality. It's not straight up just blah, 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 this is what happened, dogs. And you can sense her love of the animals. I like how the author also, she sometimes talks about her own pets and personalization. Look at the beginning of this story with the dog and the chameleon. The first two little paragraphs are actually her giving a little antidote about her own dogs and chameleons. So I read the introduction. I thought it was pretty interesting. It gave some of the facts about the history of dogs and the, their domestication. There are facts spurs throughout through all the stories and you can tell them apart because they're in these little boxes and it just gives a fun fact about the animal that it's talking about. It makes me feel like I'm actually getting smarter which doesn't happen often. This one's labeled Big Bite and it says, German Shepherd's jaw is a mighty thing with some 240 pounds of force to its bite. A human jaw has less than 90 pounds. 
you can tell from this fact you do not want to get bit by a German Shepherd. It's definitely not my usual type of book. This is definitely one of those books you could lay on a coffee table so when people come over they might want to read a short story because you're boring and no one wants to talk to you when they come to your house. They just come for the free food. That might just be me, but anyway, if that you you can relate to that, you might want this. This is definitely great for dog lovers. It has cute stories. Definitely enjoying this. This isn't my usual read, but I am glad I picked it up because it's fun, entertaining, and it's short, so it should be helping me with my good reads challenge, which I am behind on. Priorities. But yeah, I liked it, and I recommend this to people who are dog lovers, love stories about dogs, and I also recommend this to people who like hearing short little dog stories whenever they're down to cheer them up because this is definitely the type of thing you can just open up, read any story, and use it to pick you up when you're in a bad or sad mood because it's adorable. And also it's really well formatted, just saying, like, this formatting is great. The writing's good, the photo's good, the formatting's good. That's all I have to say for now. And this week I will be putting up a video actually on time. I'm planning on it being a fiction book review, currently reading one. It's in my luggage now, so I'll read it when I get back later.